Uh, one nugget is engine stop start. On our HFE model, that high fuel efficiency model, engine, up, engine stop start will be standard equipment. It's not your hybrid, okay, technologies. It's all starter based, you know, driven uh, use of the technologies. But basically, what happens on engine stop start is as the customer pulls up to a street light stop sign, the engine will power down. Once that customer comes off that brake pedal, the engine will come back on. Okay? So it is a high endurance starter. You know, knowing that the duty cycle, the number of stops and starts is going to increase. Okay, we put more stringent, you know, durability requirements on that starter. So we know the starter will be up to the task. In addition to the starter, there's a bunch of other enablers that help the system function and maintain customer comfort. There's a DC to DC converter on board. Well, that converter basically keeps the accessories going uh, during that stop-start function. Okay, so from a cabin cooling feedback standpoint, that will be maintained, the radio will be maintained, and so forth. Also, we've uh, increased the uh, output of the alternator. We have a 220 amp alternator. The rest of the 1500 fleet, we run with a 180 amp all. The battery is an 800 amp uh, EGM battery. So all those things combined, you know, work to create uh, the stop-start system that you'll find on that HFE product. Another enabler uh, that we have on board from a powertrain standpoint is what we call trans-thermal management. And the thought process here was to take that heat being produced from that engine and use the coolant from that and route that back to a heat exchanger mounted to the transmission. What we have found in our testing was that we could get that trans fluid to operate at 190 degrees maintain that, basically you drop the viscosity of the trans fluid and you allow for more efficient operation or spinning of, of, of that gear set and so forth. So what we do now is we come plumb the coolant, drive it back to the transmission through the heat exchanger and basically helps, once again, improve overall efficiency of the truck as you, as you roll down that highway. The two biggest nuggets, however, the powertrain side are sitting here uh, next to me. Uh, the first is the eight-speed transmission. Okay, it will be uh, uh, class exclusive. It'll be unique to the class. Uh, the eight-speed transmission uh, replaces our, our four-speed transmission on the V6. And then when it comes in as a, a late availability in the 13-mile year behind uh, the 5.7, it will, uh, you know, basically replace the six-speed that currently mounts to it. The six-speed will still be offered, but this will be an additional transmission offered to our uh, 5.7 Hemi customer. So the advantage of eight speeds over four, the overall gear steps, the ratio as you, as you walk through the gears is a lot smaller, okay, and then you can spread that work out across, you know, more gears. So once again, improving the overall efficiency uh, of the vehicle. Uh, the design of the, of the transmission, um, offers only two clutches to be open in any given gear. It's again reducing the drag associated with the spinning elements of the transmission. So those are the two big things here on the transmission side. Uh, this element alone adds 6%, at minimum a 6% improvement in overall fuel, fuel efficiency for the truck. Uh, the biggest nugget, however, is the 3.6 Pentastar engine. I should say the reward winning Pentastar engine. Uh, this engine was designed with low friction elements. It was designed for combustion efficiency. We bring that into the truck, we get more than an 8% improvement in efficiency over the 3.7 offering today. But more importantly with this engine, we offer 305 horsepower. A 45% increase over the 3.7 we offer, but it also is a best-in-class number within this segment for the standard V6 offering. 269 pound-feet of torque represents a 14% increase in torque over the 3.7. When you take that combination of power, take that combination of torque, with that comes that we did not sacrifice capability when we brought these tools to the, to the vehicle. With that, we now offer a 4x4 setup on our V6. So today's 2012 lineup, you get a V6, it's only in a 4x2 setup. Tomorrow on 13, you will have that 4x4 offer. 